My name is Sam Sieber and I'm a biologist for my family's company, BioResponse Solutions, based in Danville, Indiana. And we make alkaline hydrolysis equipment. Um, the name the general public seems to know this by is aquamation. So this is an alternative to cremation and burial. Um, I have here a system that's made for pets. So this is an option that people have for humans and for pets. Uh, with this type of technology, each pet is placed in its own individual compartment. So right now I just have water in here <laughs> and it's not heated, um, but there's, there's dividers that can be slid out for each individual pet to make a compartment the right size. And then the lid goes on. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have this set up today to show you how slow and gentle the water flows. So for pets, this process takes 20 hours. So the, each pet's placed in its own compartment. Um, a combination of gentle water flow that you see here, alkalinity, and a little bit of heat, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not very hot, very little energy used. Um, it reduces all of the organic material, you know, decomposes the body. So all that we're left with are the calcium phosphate minerals of the bone. And that's returned to the family as ash. I do have, this is not the volume that you get. This is just a little jar. Sample. It's light in color. It is a powder. And anything that you can do with cremation ashes, you can do with this. So you can do the memory glass. There's so many options. Um, cremation necklace. You can scatter, you can keep the urn, um, if you like to keep the urn in your home. Um, turn your pet into a diamond with the ashes. You can do a memorial planting where you mix with soil and plant a tree and get to see your pet live on that way, so. Is the uh, texture of those remains the same for people remains? It is, it's okay. exactly the same. And I, you know, some people have never seen remains from a flame cremation, so I can describe that. They're going to be kind of gray in color because from the burning process there's some carbon material. And they're going to be larger fragments and kind of chippy. I think sometimes when people go to spread ashes they're thinking of what they maybe see in their fire pit or, you know, wood stove. And that's not it. It's, it's still the bone remains from a flame cremation, but these are, these break down into more of a powder in this process and you get 20 to 30 percent more because the process it's 200 degrees instead of 1600 and there's no direct flame it's just a very very slow circulation so it's very gentle to the remains in this system we can a hamster cremation we can do um, a finch a snail any any little itty bitty guys um, you can get a cremation for anything you know in the same cycle you can have a rottweiler and a hamster and it's it's you know does the same work on both of those bodies but each in their own compartment right so there wouldn't be a co-mingling of the correct there's bones. with any pro even with flame cremation where each pet is placed in by itself uh, you'll get an authorization form, even with human cremation, even though it's one body in the system at once, um, there's a small amount of commingling that just occurs because you can, only, um, you can only collect the remains out of a crematory so well. It's a brick floor. Mm -hmm. This can be cleaned out completely in between cycles. So there is a very, it's completely minimized the risk of commingling. But this is completely cleaned out and, and rinsed out in between each cycle. So that's one difference as well with the flame cremation. And more information if people wanted to ask? Aquamationinfo.com. Thanks. Okay.